Hey everybody, it's Pixels, and welcome back to Stanley Parables. Now, I, I looked through some of the achievements because I am an achievement whore. I have the shirt to prove it. And one of them is to not play for five years. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that one, you know? Get all I can out and then put it away for five years and get my achievement. Another one is unattainable, so that's going to drive me insane forever. Ooh, dark place. What's in the dark place of darkness? Nothing. Okay. Ooh, yeah, let's go in the red elevator. Elevator? Elevator? What the hell did I say? Oh, God. But I looked at some of the achievements, and they're they're very fun. One of them is, uh, like, uh, quit the game and start again. That's a good one. So it has some Descending interesting achievements. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Be a free Why thinker. Did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh yeah, this doesn't look spooky death. Nope, this is fine. Not spooky death at all. Hey light. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But, but what about over here where it says escape? I'm gonna escape. I don't trust this narrator, man. He's gonna loot me back. this isn't passageway he? had the word escape written on it. It's gonna loot me back. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yay, violent death. Can I go back? Oh, I can. No, let's go to violent death. Then we'll go the to The door behind control. him was not shut. I know. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I do. But, uh, this point, death. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. I am. And willingly confront his death. Mm hmm let's do that. Ooh, it's getting dark. Oh. Oh, what the freaking freak? Am I just gonna fall through a shaft? Alright, let's do this. Whee! Violent death! I committed. Oh. I don't think I'm dead. Pretty sure I'm alive. Oh, I am alive. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh, to his demise, there it, it is. reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Eh, Stanley you know. can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Bye. Bye. Push me. Oh, God. Uh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah. Insta death. Ooh. Okay. Ha ha! Freedom! You didn't kill me. Uh, okay. Uh, and oh. yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Yay. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh when god, every so white. you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Yeah, yeah, I could see that, you know. Oh, it's over here. Oh, is this the thingy? I was it? No, I don't know. What have I done? I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna wander around a bit. Just see stuff. War zone. Hmm. Interesting. It's a lovely museum. It's very nice. Lovely. What's in here? Some stuff. Okay. Oh god, there's another exhibit. What am I doing? Alright, let's get back on track. Let's figure out what the hell I need to do. Uh... <gasps> you little doggy? What is this? 
fuck is this? I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, exit. Found it. <laughs> Found what the fuck? Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Uh, off? Oh. Can you see? Can no. you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Lady, I can't see Jack. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Okay. As long as you move forward, you'll be... Really? You're gonna make me quit the game? Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna quit the game. We'll see what this does. Quit to menu. And begin the game? What have I done? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, I've just started over! Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. I know what to do. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You think I would have learned my lesson the first time? But now I didn't, so we're back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what the almighty voice says. Go in here. Alright. What do I do now, voice? What do I do now? Do I just, just turn this on? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? We're gonna find out. How far down? Oh, oh, that is a drop and a half. All right, here we go. Alrighty, what do I do now? Turn on the cameras, I guess. Yeah, probably. Let's just push this giant camera button. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah, you know, it happens. Aren't we all just monitored somewhere? Now, where do I go? Okay, go over here. New path. Hello. What was my employee number? I forgot. Was it 437, I think? I don't remember. Push this little thingy. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Probably. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yeah. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Alrighty. Well, that sounds fun. How do I do that? Uh, do I just start pressing random buttons, I guess? Probably. Or this. This is good. On or off. I guess we just put it off. There you go. Oh, everything went off. Oh, all the lights are off. I'm scared.
blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, Tree. but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, nice what dream. to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. As soon as it's open. That's right, it's my life. Do what I want. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Hold on to that happy a little bit. Because, um, we're gonna screw it up for you, Stanley. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And we're back in our office. Yay! I think that may have been like record time a bit. Alright, um... Step out, see what happens. Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt... Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Then what do I need to do? Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. I'm going to keep clicking it. I want my achievement. want my achievement. Mm. This is what my I life is. Say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost I will certainly. be here all day. 50 clicks. All day. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? All right. I gotta go find it, though. Door number 417. That door better exist. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Oh my god. Okay, 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now, back to door number 437. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, copy machine. Is there one in here? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there is. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I hope so. I want my achievement. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419, okay. I don't... Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. All right, 416. I'm doing it. Doing it. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine. Do that one again! He's so excited. So excited. Oh, crap. Where's the copy... Uh, it's, uh, it's over here. 
It's over here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? I don't know. I don't know. But that is all the excitement I can handle for today. It's just, it's just it. Can't handle any more excitement. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment below. Tell me what you think about this game. And we will be playing more. There is so much more to be played. So much more. I'm gonna make some wrong decisions. Or right decisions. Who knows? Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesomely awesome content. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye!